when Abshalom, the son of Dawid, died in his violent attempt to take the throne from his father, all the people were at strife throughout all the tribes of Yisrael, saying, The king delivered us out of the hand of our enemies, and he saved us out of the hand of the Polish team, and now he is fled out of the land from Abshalom. And Abshalom, whom we anointed over us, is dead in battle. Now therefore, why speak ye not a word of bringing the king back? And King Dawid sent to Thadok and to Abiathar the priests, saying, Speak to the elders of Yehuda, saying, Why are ye the last to bring the king back to his house? seeing the speech of all Yisrael is come to the king to bring him to his house. When the king went over the Jordan, all the people of Yehuda brought the king over, and also half the people of Yisrael. And behold, all the men of Yisrael came to the king, and said to the king, Why have our brothers... The men of Yehuda stolen thee away, and brought the king and his household over the Jordan, and all Dawid's men with him. And all the men of Yehuda answered the men of Yisrael, Because the king is near of kin to us. For what reason then are ye angry for the matter? Have we eaten at all at the king's cost? Or hath he given us any gift? And the men of Yisrael answered the men of Yehuda, and said, We have ten parts in the king, and we have also more right in Dawid than ye. Why then did ye despise us, that our advice should not be first had in bringing back our king? And the words of the men of Yehuda were fiercer than the words of the men of Yisrael. Of the books called Shamuel, the second, chapter 20. And there happened to be there a man of worthlessness, whose name was Shabbat, the son of Bokhari, a Benyamini. And he blew the sounding horn and said, We have no portion in Dawid. Neither have we inheritance in the son of Yeshai. Every man to his tents, O Yisrael. So all the men of Yisrael went up from following Dawid and followed Shabbat, the son of Bukhari. But the men of Yehuda clave to their king from the Jordan even to Yerushalem. And Dawid came to his house at Yerushalem, and the king took the ten women, his concubines, whom he had left to keep the house, and put them in ward, and provided them with sustenance, but went not in to them. So they were shut up to the day of their death, living in widowhood. Then said the king to Amasha, Call me the men of Yehuda together within three days, and be thou here present. So Amasha went to call the men of Yehuda together, but he tarried longer than the set time which he had appointed him. And Dawid said to Abishai, Now will Shabbat the son of Bukhari do us more harm than did Habshalom. Take thou thy Lord's servants, and pursue after him, lest he get him fortified cities, and escape out of our sight. And there went out after him Joab's men, and the Karethi, and the Palethi, and all the mighty men, and they went out of Yerushalem to pursue after Shabbat, the son of Bokhari. When they were at the great stone, which is in Gabaon, Amasha came to meet them, 
and Joab was girded with his apparel of war that he had put on, and thereon was a belt with a sword fastened upon his loins in the sheath thereof. And as he went forth, it fell out. And Joab said to Amar Shah, Is it well with thee, my brother? And Joab took Amar Shah by the beard with his right hand to kiss him. But Amar Shah took no heed to the sword that was in Joab's hand. So he smote him therewith in the body, and shed out his bowels to the ground, and struck him not again, and he died. And Joab and Abishai his brother pursued after Shaba the son of Bokhari. And there stood by him one of Joab's young men, and said, He that favoureth Joab, and he that is for Dawid, let him follow Joab. And Amar Shah lay wallowing in his blood in the midst of the highway. And when the man saw that all the people stood still, he carried Amar Shah out of the highway into the field and cast a garment over him when he saw that everyone that came by him stood still. When he was removed out of the highway, all the people went on after Joab to pursue after Shaba, the son of Bokhari. And he went through all the tribes of Yishrael to Havel, and to Beit Ma'akar, and all the Be'erim, and they were gathered together, and went also after him. And they came and besieged him in Havel of Beit Ma'akar, and they cast up a mound against the city, and it stood against the rampart, and all the people that were with Joab battered the wall to throw it down. Then cried a wise woman out of the city, Hear, hear, say I pray you to Joab, come near hither, that I may speak with thee. And he came near to her, and the woman said, Art thou Joab? And he answered, I am. Then she said to him, Hear the words of thy handmaid. And he answered, I do hear. Then she spoke, saying, Speakingly they were speaking in old times, saying, They shall surely ask counsel at Arbel. And so they ended the matter. I am of them that are peaceable and faithful in Yishrael. Thou seekest to destroy a city and a mother in Yishrael? Why wilt thou swallow up the inheritance of Yahweh? And Joab answered and said, Far be it, far be it from me, that I should swallow up or destroy. The matter is not so. But a man of the hill country of Ephraim, Shaba, the son of Bokhari by name, hath lifted up his hand against the king, even against Dawid. Deliver him only, and I will depart from the city. And the woman said to Joab, Behold, his head shall be thrown to thee over the wall. Then the woman went to all the people in her wisdom. And they cut off the head of Shabbat, the son of Bokhari, and threw it out to Joab. And he blew the sounding horn, and they were dispersed from the city, every man to his tent. And Joab returned to Yerushalem, to the king. Now Joab was over all the host of Yishrael, and Benayah, the son of Yehoiada was over the Kareti and over the Peleti. And Hadoram was over the men subject to taskwork. And Yehoshaphat, the son of Achilud, was the recorder. And Shua was scribe, and Sadok 
and Habyatar were priests, and also Eira the Yahiri was priest to Dawid. And there was a famine in the days of Dawid three years, year after year, and Dawid sought the face of Yahweh, and Yahweh said, It is for Shaul and for his bloody house, because he put to death the Gabaonim.